Tonight, people living in a Newport News apartment complex want answers. Tenants at Heritage Forest Apartments got a letter from property managers saying someone may have been exposed to COVID-19, but tenants tell us they feel they're left in the dark. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clements is live at the complex tonight with reaction from neighbors. Nico. David, in the days, weeks, and months to come, we expect more people on the peninsula and in Newport News to get sick with the virus. But people here at Heritage Forest say the letter provided very little information about the person in the complex. And tonight, they're concerned. Yeah, I'm really about to, you know... A tense and stressful situation for people who live at Heritage Forest in Newport News. Property managers sent this letter that says a person in the community reported a potential exposure to COVID-19. Kayla Lynch has lived here about a year. It really hit close to home. Like, I never really thought that coronavirus was like, this serious until it like, got into the neighborhood. A neighborhood filled with families, children, and young professionals. Lynch is an essential worker, so she's taking extra precaution when she goes to and from work. I already be uh, disinfecting the light switches, the door handles, all that stuff, but now it's just like outside. I'm not touching the bars, and I have my hand sanitizer. Management says in the letter they are speaking with the health department and taking the necessary precautions to keep everyone safe. People who live here say they want answers. Who is the person? Which building are they in? Did children come in contact with this person? I see people having cookouts, people having parties. Like, I just think that everybody needs to stay in the house so that we can come back outside eventually. Of the more than 1,200 coronavirus cases in Virginia, there are 23 in Newport News. Lynch knows that number will rise. I mean, it kind of does make me nervous, but at the end of the day, like, I just, I can't live in fear. So I just wash my hands and take every precaution that I possibly can. The Franklin Johnston Group manages Heritage Forest. I reached out to the company, but I haven't heard back. Live in Newport News, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.